Hello students, today we are going to discuss growth and evolution of CRM that is how this concept has evolved to what it is today. So first let's revise what is CRM. The approach to marketing predominantly was emerging as addressing the needs of customers segments because distinguishing individual customers was becoming not only difficult but also very costly. With this market segment came the downgrading of individual consumer preferences for mainly two reasons as mentioned earlier. One customer data were not available and second addressing the needs of individual customers was getting expensive. However, with the advent of technology, these problems were overcome. So CRM is a strategy which has three components namely people, process and technology. People meaning the interaction between the internal and external stakeholders. The data of the people are processed through technology, thus giving a better understanding of market and people and hence can be devised or drawn a good CRM program. So having revised what CRM is, we see the stages of CRM, how one evolved into another. There are five stages till date. As seen on the screen, we now discuss each one of them. The first generation, that is the functional CRM stage came into being around 1990. This stage had two major features. One, the Salesforce automation also known as SFA and second, the customer service and support. Salesforce automation. Here is where began building databases for the Salesforce that is the sales team and also of the sales force. Now for the sales force, database like customer profile, prospective customers etc. were required so that they could pitch the sales deal after they have a fair idea of who or what kind of customers they are dealing with. It was also essential to closely monitor the performance of the sales team and hence area wise and salesman wise databases were being developed. And the second feature which is customer service and support involved after sales service, help desk, help lines, call centers and field service support. So here is where started centers or contact points available for the customers to contact the company may it be for an inquiry, complaint, payments, delivery etc. Or else before this the customer had to visit the site or the retail store for even a small bit of information. So that is how CRM began. The ability to service individual customers. The second generation customer facing front end approach began around the year 1996. Here is where ERP that is the enterprise resource planning was born. 
which was integration of different independent systems or functions into one package. The goal was to create a single view for all interaction with the customers. That is a system which digitally records the individual customer's interaction right from pre-sales movement to sales that is payment to after sales which is complain or any feedback or maybe also maintenance if required by the product. The third generation that is the strategic approach here is where the advent of internet grew. The importance of internet here came in the picture. This grew to a very great extent and companies now started to integrate all company data to use it for strategic decision making. That is with ERP and internet all branches for example and regional offices could integrate the company data to help the management take decisions to help the growth of the company. The fourth generation the flexible strategic CRM which began around 2008. Here is where social media took a positive and important place in the marketing functions of companies. Web based solutions became prevalent in this stage. So online shopping also started growing where individual consumers started having own logins or accounts for example with the company like individual accounts with baskets, grofers, etc. So, the fourth stage was a stage which integrated or started the interaction between the company and the customers on a larger scale because of the digital platform. And the fifth and final stage of the growth and evolution that is the social CRM which came in around 2015. It is about customer engagement through the integration of web 2.0 and social media. Companies encourage participation of customers online and in turn use software applications to track real-time social data. So CRM over the years has evolved with the help of technology and has made it today a platform to interact with customers on an individual basis. Students, I would suggest for more on this topic, you could read the book Customer Relationship Management, authored by V. Kumar and Werner, published by the Springer Publications. Thank you, students.